As a community, it's always been taught, children need to be at home, they need to be with their family, they need to be with their communities. I always felt like we need to get away from that ideation where we're taking kids because we think our ideas are better. We're always working for the children to get back home, whether it's in their own home with their parents or their extended family with grandparents, aunties, uncles, or even in the community. They'd apply for private guardianship and of course we'd have to financially help them a bit to keep them going and that's, that's where we've had the big reduction. Our job is to make sure that children are safe, they're nurtured, they're loved. So there's a lot of um, rapport building, a lot of uh, partnering in the community, a lot of trust building. It's important for children to remain connected to their culture because that is who they are. That, that's their identity and that's who they will become as adults. I do this work because as I was growing up, I was a child in care and was taken away from my community. So it was really within my heart to uh, make a difference. I've seen a lot of successes, not just for the children in care, for the children in the communities in general. It's really good to see the children in care come to their communities and just be accepted by the other youth and know who they are. If you respect people and work with them, you can do well. People are not as afraid of child welfare as they used to be. Uh, they come in and say, I need help. I find this work very rewarding and people are happy with our service in the community. Our kids are our future leaders. They need to um, learn that from our elders. This is where their values start and their beliefs. This is where they belong. <laughs>